guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope everyone's doing really, really well. I know I look like death. Not gonna lie to you, it's how it is, you know. If you can tell by my voice, I've got a cold or something again. And I mean, I literally look like shit. There's, there's no avoiding it. So apologies for saying the S word, but you know. Anyway. I've uh, got this rye being a lie, so go get a drink. We've got a Primark haul. I don't normally shop at Primark at all, really. <laughs> the reason for that is because nine times out of ten, I just use what I've already got in the cupboard. Now, I have noticed I'm getting very less on the whole trouser situation. And I've got like no top, so I've got like mostly jumpers and like work stuff. That is pretty much my wardrobe. So I thought I'll go get some bits for me and obviously, you know, you pick up bits in between. However, we are now a hundred pound nearly lighter. It was like 98 quid. So if you are interested in seeing what I've got, please stick around. I've got four of these bags. So yeah. Hope you enjoy. So I picked up myself this top. I did get it in a 2XL because I just like an oversized top. I really do. And I'm not being funny, but by the time you put your boobs in, you know, it's it's a normal size top anyway. It, but this was £6 for a Harry Potter t-shirt. And it just says Hogwarts and then we've got the houses on. So I thought for six quid, you know, might as well like i said i just feel like at the moment i've got barely any tops and stuff i've got i think they use the high no they're not they're the regular ones so i've got a pair of extra large leggings they are three pound i also picked up these these are also an extra large so these were six pound also so these are just like gray tracky bottoms it's just because, like I said, I feel like I've got no pants or anything. And the, the leggings will come in handy for work or anything really, won't they? In this bag, I've also got this. So it says apparently it was supposed to be £8 originally. It is in a size 7 to 8. Now, we're going to go on holiday just to get away for a bit. Get out the area. But I picked up this because you can go swimming. Now, normally that time of year, you can't go swimming. But because we booked somewhere with an indoor swimming pool, we can. So it's just like this little towel sort of outfit. And like I said to Ben, I said that'd be perfect for Scarlett to chuck on after she's finished. So like I said, it was four quid. I thought that was a bargain. Ben used one of these this morning. So these are some boxer shorts these were 10 pound for three pairs but well, speaking of boxer shorts do not go with a company called on that ass right that is literally what the company is called now i was going to do various videos to show you this brand because i thought you know what advertising or whatever so i'll tell you I had a free trial in July. We got the boxes. So basically they do like boxes and socks and things like that. So it was free for the first pair and then it's £10 a month after. So we'd had these boxes and they were very small for what they were saying they were. There was no option to change the size. There was no everything else like you couldn't choose your design they just sent you whatever it was for that month that going forward that is sorry um so they've done that fair enough you know okay i requested to cancel it on the, their website all went through perfect didn't get an email but i thought you know what i didn't get an email saying that they were sending me the box a short time so i thought you know now the arena there did it again a month later got charged to like the tenant Fair enough, you know, I received the product, I paid for the product, you know, all right, fair enough, had the product. Again, still not good quality. They were like, 
really hard material. There was no giving them, they were not stretchy. They were just really sort of rigid, horrible. And this isn't me like blasting a company at all, you know. But there's no option to up your sizes. There's no option to do anything else apart from cancel. Now, this went on for two more months. So it ended in September. So last month when I finally contacted him at the end of the month saying, look, I have cancelled this twice now. On your website, it said that it's cancelled and it hasn't cancelled. You've charged me twice. I said, the first time I gave you the benefit of the doubt, the second time I gave a pair away, and now the third time, I said, you're taking the mick. So I cancelled it, and they were like, yeah, well, because you're cancelling it now, you've now got to pay for another month. No. I do not want your product. Your product is not very good. It's not fit for purpose. I do not want your product. So... In the end, because I kept messaging him and I was just getting regular sort of automated emails back from various people saying we can't do anything, that's how our thingy works. That's I'm not being funny. Any company has the right to refund or not accept someone's cancellation, which they do. But at this point, this has been cancelled now for how many months? They've had two lots of my money on top of the first pair do you know what i mean so obviously i spoke to them i was like look don't want this product don't want this service blah 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 sorted out i gave them about two weeks to do that and they didn't so i had to contact my bank and get my money back explain the situation and bought the card now they're sending me emails saying you've got a payment i haven't got a payment because i don't want your product you need to send us money or we can't send you the product. We don't want the product. Do you know what I mean? It's not like I'm begging you to send them me. I'm telling you and begging you to not send them me. So, yeah. Please avoid that company. After discovering what had happened to myself, I'd then gone on. Obviously, when you, you go for a trial, you think, oh, my God, this is amazing. You don't realise how how many months you're going to be stuck into a service or whatever. And not being funny, but not everyone sits there paying attention to the subscriptions and that that they've got. Do you know what I mean? So it just get, it'll keep getting taken out of your account. And you're like, oh, boxes, Ooh, boxes. And they don't even email you to tell you that they're dispatching them, telling you what month you, you have in this month. They tell you absolutely nothing. The only emails I've had off them was when I first signed up to pro promote the products to me and now that I'm not paying them because my bank has blocked them from taking money from my account because of what they've done to me. But yeah, just a quick, quick, a quick one to let you know, please avoid that company and all online says like that they've, it's basically a massive scam that they've been there, they've tried to cancel, they haven't been able to cancel. And when they have met, been able to cancel, they've then taken an extra month's worth of payment off them. It's not fair, guys. And I'm not being funny. That is not how the sales of good act is. At the end of the day, you can't force people to make purchases on your products. That's no. Wouldn't normally tell you to stay away from a company, but after the crap I have had for the past how long? No. While I'm actually on that subject, I got these. So, this is a company called Simply Cook. Now, I'm just going to see if I can take my address off or if I can, uh, that'll do, won't it? So, this was another company I had issues with, not as bad as that one. Now I've played I play games and do you know when you're like trying to earn gems and stuff for other games and you know you sign up to things for whatever. Well this box you were supposed to get it for a pound, so you pay a pound for the postage, and you got these seasonings for some meals. So I tried to do it. It took four quid off because I tried it on my card and Ben's card, and I was like, it's not working, it's really, really not working. 
So I messaged him about it all. Oh, you should be able to do it now. And I kept trying to do it and it just wouldn't let me do it. It just kept charging me and then try and charge me 9 99 for him. So in the end, I just gave up. I thought, y you know what? I'm not getting no rewards. I'm not getting nothing out of it. I'll just leave it. However, they did actually send me a courtesy box to, to sort of let me know that, you know, they know I had issues, but here's here's a box so they sent me the penny a la rustica stroganoff bang bang chicken and cillian roast chicken so these are just little like meal ideas for you it tells you all the calorie contents and everything on the back these are normally 9.99 for the month which i personally wouldn't be paying um but then they'll send you that the recipe cards to make the stuff so that's your roast chicken and it tells you how to do it on the back this is the bang bang chicken again tells you how to do it on the back beef stroganoff and then the penny pasta basically like i said so obviously you can, they even come with like a little tear off bit so when you do your shopping you can get the shopping list. I mean it was real nice of them at the fact that they sent me one out randomly. What annoyed me though is they told me I could do it and I could pick my own. Now these won't be in calorie range for Ben to have. So I was using them for the, what are they called? Like the only one he'd probably have and that's even over because he's got a he limits himself to about 500 calories now this one is the only one that's less than uh, 600 calories so that one's 580 calories so that's still out of his sort of calorie range you know what i mean so i don't know if we'll be doing them in in the week it'll probably be at a week i'm happy that the fact that they they did that for me do you know what i mean because not a lot of companies would and like i've told you about the other company <laughs> you know you pick your battles don't you but yeah they also send these little uh, books but yeah so if we do try one of them meals i will let you know i'm not gonna lie to you though that's been sitting there for a couple of weeks just on top of my microwave and yeah but anyway i went completely off topic there didn't i I got a Sonic the Hedgehog onesie. So Scala picked up some Wheeler and Stitch ones, she didn't want them. Then she picked up a Pokemon pajama set and then she didn't want them because she found this. And this was only £14. I don't think that was bad to be honest. And she's absolutely Sonic obsessed right now. So yeah. Just because it's getting winter, you know, making sure she's still got some stuff to keep her warm in there. Ben's brought this for the gym, so this was £3. It's not bad, is it? Three quid for a top to go under his jumpers and that. Skyler's wanted this for Christmas. So, it's a Jack Skellington stocking, and that was just £6. So yeah, she's had that. She goes, well, I can have one upstairs, mum, one, one downstairs. I'm thinking, right, okay, then, Scarlett. These are for myself. So these were £2.50 for just a pair, five pairs of black socks. Because I don't know why, I swear someone's eating my socks. I'm not even lying to you. I picked up these for Skylar. This probably won't be used as what normal people use it for. This will be a bra and knicker set for it. It, but that was supposed to be £7, it was £2 for the set. So, you know, you can't grumble at that, can you? And she really wanted it. And like I said to her, I said, you don't have to use them for bra and knickers. You can use them for bed if you really want to. And then I've got another pair of leggings, but these are high-waisted ones. And they were £5. 
like I said, I just needed some sort of extra trousers and that really. Then I've also got these, I, I've, I'm currently wearing a pair today. It, these are granny knickers, you know, that's what my mum call, calls them, in XL, just to give me a bit of extra room and stuff. I'm noticing at the moment my pants are very much digging in me, so I thought, you know what, we'll go for the XL, bit of comfort, over the valley. I picked up this with Skylar, so every year we get a new ornament for the tree, and this was a pound, and Skylar wanted that. So we got that, last but not least, for Primark. Well, it's not. There is a top in here, but I can't show it you just yet, so sorry. Uh, but these were £22, these are in size 10s, and these are for Ben's Halloween outfit that he's wearing. So, yeah. I spent £98 in there. I'm not going to lie, I feel like I haven't got that much considering what you'd normally get from Primark about five years ago. But nonetheless, you know, I've got some new underwear, new socks, some trousers, a couple of tops and that, you know, perfect. I will just show you before I go as well. We went to Lush. We went to Lush for the Halloween range and there was a couple of things in there, but it weren't great. So the only one I bought was this Screaming Banshee one. And they did do a pumpkin in there, but I don't know if it was a bubble bar. It was actually the side of back macaron. So I've got that Screaming Banshee one. Sky was picked herself up another Frozen one. Show you these. So these are bubble bars. And it smells so minty they do. But then I was tempted to buy myself the Snow Fairy Spritzer. In the end, I decided against it on the basis of it was 25 quid. I don't go out anywhere apart from work. Is it really worth it? No, it's not. So me and Ben decided that we were going to have this for each other. Right, we're going to share this one. And it's the Snow Fairy. I think it's the Bubble Bar Roll. Oh, it smells amazing. But yeah, so that's what I got from Lush. The Bubble Bar, I think, was £7. The Banshee was £3.50. And then I think it was £5.50 for the Bubble Bar for Skyler. I also have realised, by the way, when I did that Asda haul the other day, it was supposed to be to show you the Pudsy outfit that I brought. I didn't show it, you did I? So I will go and get that now and show you quickly before I pop off. And bark! So, this is the Pudsy outfit that I got. This was £11. There was such a lovely, lovely little dress in there. And it was like a party sort of costume dress of Pudsy. And it was so beautiful. It was £16, I think it was. £15 or £16. But I wanted to wrap that, but Scarlett chose this. So, yeah. That is the Pudsy outfit that she went for. So, anyway, guys, that has been everything from this haul. Don't think I've got anything else to show you now. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do like my content, guys, please press the like button. Share your friends and family. And it does mean so, so much when you do leave me a comment. So if you leave me a comment in the comment section down below. And if you want to talk to me, I'll always leave my email address in the description box if you do want to reach out. But if not, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.